Hey there you guys, it's Tom here from Mobile DJ Tech Tips UK and today I'm basically going to be walking you through a simple DJ setup for somebody who literally just wanting to get into DJ and they want to do it in their bedroom or also for someone who's looking for a cheaper alternative so they don't have to keep on forking out a ton of money uh, to buy a pair of decent uh, monitors or even speakers uh, for their setup. So I'm using a pair of creative uh, desktop speakers just for the purpose of this video. Normally I use a pair of monitor speakers. So um, a lot of you are going to have a pair of computer speakers where it's going to have a 3.5mm uh, jack cable running up through the back. So just for example I've got a 3.5mm to 3.5mm jack cable right here. So if you're going to have a 3.5mm jack coming out the back of your speakers and you have a controller which is running RCA outputs as your master, which a lot of um, beginner slash entry level controllers slash mixers also um, have RCA or phono outputs coming out the back. So if you have a 3.5mm jack coming out through the back of your speaker, you can't literally connect a 3.5mm jack to 3.5mm jack because well, that doesn't make any sense. So what I have here is a RCA or phono cable as there's no a 3.5mm jack. So again, we can't connect a 3.5mm to 3.5mm. So in order for you to get around this problem, you just need one of these, which is a 3.5mm jack connector. As you can see, there's a 3.5mm jack on one end and also on the other. So let's say now this is the cable coming out the back of the speakers. You're going to plug that into one end and then this is the cable coming out the back of your controller or mixer and you literally just connect it straight in so that's basically one way of having to do it and I'm going to show you that now on the setup just behind me. Okay so as you can see here we have my Pioneer the DJ S1 which I'm running with Serato DJ Pro and so this would basically be a basic setup that you would normally have in your bedroom or anywhere in your house so basically if you're starting out this would basically be the the minimalistic setup you have obviously you're not going to have the pioneer dvj s1 because they don't make that anymore and it's a bit over the top but i've had it for a while it's been very reliable and it's what i like using i've got other controllers as well but I like kind of like messing around on this still. But um, obviously you're not going to have this exact controller. So I'm just going to leave that there. So as you can see on the back of the, the DJ S1, it's got a pair of um, balanced XLR outputs here. And it's also got a pair of uh, phono or RCA master outputs here. Phono slash RCA as you can see there, phono slash RCA straight in to the RCA phono output. So we're gonna go white into white and red into red. So the red would be the right line and the white would be the left line output. Okay, let's have a kind of look at all this. It's nice and tidy because you don't want any wires getting snagged. So I'm just going to leave that off to one side for now. Now, you're probably going to notice this. This is the cable that comes out through the back of the speakers. So this would be your kind of like your audio cable. It's got a green jacket on the outside. Now, you've probably seen this kind of uh, jack coming from a pair of headphones, which normally has a microphone. So the microphone would obviously be in pink. This is obviously green. Uh, you see one pink and one uh, green. Green obviously being for the audio for your speakers or your headphones and then the red one would obviously be for the microphone so what we're going to do then is we're going to get the 3.5 mil jack and we're going to connect it on now before you connect anything onto your um, computer speakers or your monitors whatever it is that you're using that has a quarter of 3.5 mil jack you do not want to plug this straight on and then connect the other 3.5 mil jack onto the other side otherwise it's going to cause a distortion feedback which you will be doing damage to your um, speakers that you're going to be using because obviously they're active powered speakers 
meaning that there's a little amplifier um, running through the speakers and you will blow it. So the best thing to do is make sure your speakers are off first. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the uh, 3.5 mm jack from the speakers. We're gonna connect the 3.5 mm connector straight on. And then we're gonna get the 3.5 mm jack coming from our controller. And we're gonna have that plugged in there. So now I'm just gonna leave everything behind here. So nothing gets snagged because that's the last thing you want is cables getting snagged. It also keeps everything looking nice and tidy as well. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go along and just turn on the speakers. Now I've got two tracks loaded up, one on deck A and one on deck B, but we don't really need to play both. Okay, so I'm just gonna press uh, play on deck A, and bring up the line levels here. As you can see we've got audio running directly from the back of the controller straight from the speakers okay and I'm going to show you another solution also so we're just going to go along and plug that off so the speakers are off what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect this. I'm also going to disconnect this. So obviously this is the side coming from the mixer. We're going to leave that to one side now. And this is the side, this is the, the back of the speaker's jack here. So let's say now, if your computer speakers have a, has an, like auxiliary input, uh, it would normally be in the front, uh, just like it is on my speakers here. So instead of having a 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil connector, you can just run your phono to 3.5 mil jack straight into the auxiliary input. So I'm gonna leave the, uh, the 3.5 mil jack from the speaker there, and so you can see it there. So I'm not plugging anything else in, and I'm gonna go straight into the auxiliary input into the front of my speakers here. And I'm just gonna tidy all of this up for you now. As again, old habit. And we're gonna leave the 3.5 mil jack right there, if it stays. We're gonna leave that right there on top of my keyboard. So you can see that I've got nothing plugged into it and I'm gonna go straight into the aux in. The power back on the speakers again. Press play on deck A. I bring up the line level. So as you can see, that's also another way in, instead of you having to pay for a 3.5 mil to 3.5 mil jack connector, you can just plug it straight into your aux input. Obviously I like to have a clean setup so that nothing gets in the way, nothing gets snagged, no wires get damaged. So I like to use the 3.5 mil jack so I can just plug it, everything straight in and have it all nice and tidy. Okay guys, so as you can see, that's a basic DJ setup using a pair of computer or PC monitor speakers with a 3.5 mil jack, or also if it has an aux in, you can also plug it straight into the aux in. But I can't stress enough, just because the speakers may be cheap, or even if you spent a good bit of money on your monitor speakers for your computer, 
you don't want to risk blowing them so I would suggest that you do power them off and then connect everything up and plug everything in and then power the speaker back up again before you start connecting anything up because you will get uh, distortion and feedback which will damage your speakers. So if you guys like any more videos like this I'm going to be uploading on a daily basis anyway with uh, a lot more of DJ setup tutorials and uh, tech tips on anything that's audio slash DJ related. So I will be uploading these on a daily basis. So if you guys like this video, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe, it's free. It doesn't cost you a penny uh, or a dollar or whatever currency that it is that you use. It doesn't cost you anything. So uh, feel free to subscribe, it would help me out a lot. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it there for this video. So take care and keep the party going.